with a little bit of help from his grandfather, four-year-old Jacob Abdallah Jr. today, helped to place ornaments with his late mother and father's faces on a little village Christmas tree, paying homage to victims of violence whose cases have never been closed. Jacob's father was shot and killed days before he was born in 2019. Then, just a few months ago, his mother, Perla Andrade, was killed in a hit and run on I-55. We shouldn't be having to put our children's faces on a Christmas tree for remembrance and justice. They should be here with us on this holiday, decorating a tree with, with us. Members of the Little Village Community Council's Committee for Mothers and Fathers United for Justice, these four families came together today to both decorate the tree and wrap Christmas gifts that will be handed out to community children later this week. But their own celebrations are empty. Arturo Daza's son, 25-year-old Israel Mendes, was shot and killed in Forest Park on March 20, 2021. <laughs> Our Christmases are sad, says Mendes's father, because we look at his place at the table and feel his absence. It's the same for Elizabeth Brandt and her family. Her brother, 33-year-old Jesus Brandt Jr., was shot and killed in Brighton Park on January 22, 2022. No one was ever arrested. They have some information, but not all. We don't have any witnesses, so that makes it a lot harder. And then there is Jessica Castro's family. The 23-year-old mother of two was shot and killed during a fight in Brighton Park more than two years ago. So now we're the ones that are taking care of them. And we cannot even explain to the kids what happened to their mother. With the help of the Little Village Community Council, the Castros have been able to reopen their daughter's case in their quest for justice, which they, as the other families, are still seeking. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.